salutations and welcome to day 13 of vlogtober i got another package today i got the moon box which i've been getting for no three months but this is going to be the last one for a while because same story with the nocturnal readers box i've got to do some saving for cars and horses and phones and things like that. So, it's the last one, but it's the October one, which should be exciting. And for those of you that don't know, the moon box is a witchy box. And yeah, if you're not into that kind of thing, then don't watch. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so what they have on top is a tarot card and they have a they have parchment paper with descriptions of all of the stuff that they have in the box. So I'll undo that. This is the tarot card. Or I guess it's not a tarot card this time. It's an oracle card maybe. It's the Lunar Queen. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. Okay. And this is what the long description of everything looks like. And it's about how to use things. Looks like there's a lot of stuff. And then there's a blank piece of paper for your own spell work and stuff. On top is this print for Samhain. Um, it's a Book of Shadows print, but I usually hang these on the wall and it's a really long thing. I'm not gonna read it for you, but it's cool. It's a description of what Samhain is. And let's see. Da, 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 da. There's usually some really nice things in the moon box, which like it's kind of an expensive box, but it's so worth it. They put really nice things in it. Ooh. A tea. Totemic Onorin tea? I can't really read the writing on this. Cinnamon apple pieces, ruibos, and marigold petals. It smells really good. Oh, this is cute. It's really nice. It's got a crystal on it. They also put a lot of herbs in here. Here's some lavender. And some wormwood. And a lot of noodles. Let's see if I can get out of these noodles. The only thing I don't like about these boxes is when they put the noodles in there and it's so difficult to not make a mess. There's always a bath salts. This one doesn't have a description on it. It's got a bendy person. <laughs> Smells good. I can't wait to try that. 
Let's see. There's a lot of bubble wrap in here. It seems like a really big box. Much bigger than normal. Ooh, there's a pouch. There's a blue pouch. Let's see what is in the pouch. Oh, I love little pouches. Ooh, a stone. I'm not entirely sure what kind this is, but we'll find out at the end. A lot of this stuff goes on on your altar, and I think the moon box is perfect for people who are just starting out with witchcraft, um, because then you you don't have to go shopping for all the kinds of things, they just come to you. And then you can start collecting things that way, which is what I like to do. Looks like a tea bag for the tea. I'm not entirely sure if that's what that's for, but I think that's what that is. All of these brown noodles. I hate noodles. All of this stuff is falling out. I don't know what my dog is doing. He's like going crazy. Opal? Or does it say copal? The little jar of some stuffs. Reno, go lay down. <laughs> and another jar of some stuffs, which says frankincense. Little witch bottle things. Let's see. Some charcoal, I'm not gonna open this. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff in here. Probably because Samhain is like the biggest pagan holiday. Um, the more jars of stuff. Ruminate. I can't wait to read what all of this stuff is for. Here's the incense sticks. Here are the incense sticks for this month, which looks like they put a lot in there this year, or this, this month. Smells really good. I love the incense that they send. Um, I, I, they don't send a whole lot usually, so I keep them as like the good incense. So when I burn it, it's for special occasions or spell work or something. There it is. Oh, 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 a bundle of leaves, which is crumbling all over everything and my cat is eating it. I'm gonna put that back in the box. They always put something extraordinarily nice in these boxes, like decor or something that goes on your altar or something. It's, I don't know. I am always impressed with this box. <gasps> it's a little cold. 
cauldron. And it seems like it's cast iron. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I needed one of these. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there's more stuff still. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another bottle. This must be the oil. They always put in an oil. The crone. Mm. That smells really good. And last but not least is a candle. And usually with the candle they put a spell with it as well. Yeah. There we go. And looks like that is everything that is in this box. So let's look to see what everything is, shall we? Cast iron cauldron, check. Set of charcoal discs, check. I didn't open those. Black ritual sand, that's this. Frankincense resin. Copal resin. These are, I dropped it. Excuse me. Good thing it didn't break. Frankincense resin and copal resin. Ruminate resin. Just this one. Yerba Santa Sage, which is this right here that is falling apart. Dragon's Blood Incense. No wonder I love Dragon's Blood Incense. The Ancestral Calling Spell Candle and Mantra, which is this. Newt Sacred Salt, which that must be this. Rough Labradorite, which is the stone. Altar Broom with amethyst, amethyst, that's this. Totemic, totemic Honoring Tea with Muslin Bag, check. Lavender Herb or Elf Leaf, got that. Wormwood Herb, Personalized Oracle Reading, check. Parchment Paper, check. Sawin Book of Shadows artwork, artwork, bleh, can't talk, check. So, it's really long, I'm not gonna read all of the descriptions for you, but if you are interested in such a thing, I would definitely recommend you to check out the Moon Box. It is a very cool little witchy subscription box, and I love getting it every month, but tear, I'm not gonna be able to get it anymore for a while until like my life settles down. But it was good. And I'll see you later. Hello. So I just got home from work. I left early because there was nothing left for me to do today. It was pretty boring. So I'm just going to do the dishes because they're dirty. And my husband's not home yet and I need to do the dishes. So yeah, let's do the dishes. Let's do the dishes. See, look. Blah. 
So this is how I do dishes. I put my tablet up on my fridge, which I'm gonna watch the Hammer House of Horror while I do dishes. Doesn't that sound like fun? Of course it does. Let's see, let's start with season one, episode one. Yeah, buddy.